I want to make sure this is recorded too. So it is perfect. Let's make sure, whoops, the powers of going live, right? <laughs> Love it. And I can't see attendees yet. Now I can, I can. Yes, participants pouring in. Welcome, everybody. If we have two, Andrea, awesome. So while we do this and while we're getting started here, a couple things to note, we do have a chat box. So I always say, hey, let's get the chat box started. Type in where you're coming from. I'd love to know where we have people viewing from all over. Um, the chat box is good for you. And there is a Q&A, but we have people monitoring this chat box too. So feel free to add questions inside that chat box and we will do our best to get to you. Jeff, how are you this morning? Uh, fantastic. Always uh, good to spend time with you, my friend. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll have some fun. I know people are still logging on, but we got people here already. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you quite a bit in the last two weeks, huh? <laughs> you sick of me yet here, uh, Justin? Never, never. No, we were <laughs> Charleston, then Charlotte, and now virtual. Yeah. So there all you good. go. There you go. Are you are you still traveling on the road here quite quite a bit for the rest of the year? No, I, I I have only one more trip for the rest of the year, and even that is for our. We do a company retreat uh, every year. You know, the, at Short Consulting, there's 16 of us, but we're spread out all over the country, so we don't see each other uh, that often. Uh, so we're going to do a company retreat in uh, in Scottsdale in December, and really, really looking forward to that for sure. Oh, yeah. Love it, love it. Hey, I see my my friend Mike Gibson from Tampa is on. Mike, long time no see. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Love to hear it too. I'm going to pull my chat box up so I can see everybody as well. There we are. Oh, Tampa, Richmond. All right. Yeah. Again, welcome. If you are pouring in, we have a chat box. I always say I love to make this conversational as well too, right? So feel free, interject with questions, where you're coming from. We'd love to see that stuff. Uh, we love all of you too. So this will be fun. And for those of you that don't know, uh, my name is Justin. Uh, I have been nerding out to this for almost nine years now uh, on the old video platform here. So uh, I, I love to do this. I'll kick off with a, another quick story when we get started here too, but I know we're, we're coming near to the time. From Orlando, Javier, welcome. Uh, I, I'd like to know what Beth Bird is doing in Raleigh because she's actually from Oklahoma. So well, there's probably a story there somewhere, but uh, let's, let's, Beth, or have we more than one Beth Bird out there. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Kelly says California, Maryland. Uh, Beth, is that, is that true? Are there really two different? Uh, the... What? Oh, that's hilarious. That is so funny. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I still have yet to meet another Justin Dornboss in my time. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Uh, too good. Oh, we, we are at the top of the hour. If we want to go ahead and hit this off, absolutely. Uh, again, there is a chat box. Feel free. We have people that will reach out, answer your questions as well as we don't get to them. Um, and we'll keep on moving too. So I'll kind of get started here too, letting you know what we're going to cover here today as well too. So on the agenda, we're going to go over why video, right? Why is video being talked about in our industry? Why is it a powerful move maker? Why does it help us in so many different ways? And again, I nerd out to this stuff. So you'll have to forgive me. I've been doing this for almost nine years and I love this stuff. And we're also going to go through the stories, right? The stories that these videos have produced, uh, the videos themselves and the results that they're driving as well too for not only sales, but uh, customer success as well too. And then best practices, how to make this fast, easy and simple for you to do every single day. And not last but not least, we are going to go over, we do have a special, we wouldn't have, you know, got to have one for you. We're going to be doing a not Black Friday special if you are attending this webinar. So at the end, we'll get to that as well, too. And we'll go ahead and kick it off with the why video. And Jeff, I'm just going to hand it to you as well, too. You get started and then now I'll kind of come in. Yeah, well, first of all, I'm mean, like, why not video if it, if we already know that it's proven to be far more effective than anything else? So why would we not? So if we look at it real, really simple, just psychologically for just a moment, when we think about the most effective form of communication, I think we can all agree it would be face to face. Uh, and and um, and that's a very, very powerful way to communicate tone, to be able to communicate expression, those types of things. Uh, but we also know that that's very difficult uh, for us to do um, much of the time as we're working with clients over a long period of time. So what if we still want to communicate tone, energy, passion, kindness? Can it be done with an email? Well, two things. It's really hard. 
And two, that presumes that they read the email in the first place. And uh, I'm going to tell you, for somebody like Justin, uh, who gets, I, I don't know how many emails every single day with people wanting my attention, and they don't get it because their emails look like everybody else's email. And now we have AI jumping in and and uh, companies that are looking at saying, hey, AI, find all these people who meet this criteria and then send them some, you know, spammy email. It's email is getting it's it. It's already bad. It's going to get worse unless there's something in that email that very quickly stands out, which we'll talk about. But I would just look at it right from the very beginning and say, we need to communicate our best self. And we communicate our best self when they can actually see us, our tone, our energy. That's the better way to do it. I love that. Well said. And, you know, I've been saying this for, for years and years too, but when I talk to anybody in sales, I always say, if you had a hot lead today, would you rather talk to that hot lead through email or over the phone? And the obvious answer is they always say over the phone right? And why? Because we can carry a conversation over the phone. We can judge tonality over the phone back and forth. That's why we use the phone in sales. And I say, okay, would you rather talk to that hot lead through the phone or would you rather talk to them in person? And naturally, everyone in sales is always going to say, I'm good face to face. That's why you all do exactly what you do, right? And that's the end goal anyways, too, is to drive them into that model and to meet that person and help them build the home that they want as well, too. But the problem is, what do we use every single day? We use this. We use email, right? And I always say, you know, this is an email from John Smith. What can you tell me about John by looking at this email? Is John friendly? Is he trustworthy? Is he you know, competent enough to build the home that I want? You don't get that from something like this. Right. And especially now, more than ever, out of the last three years, we have trained ourselves to just blur our eyes, swipe and delete this junk that fills up our inbox. It's what we call digital pollution. Right. And that's really where we come into play in using video to help build a better connection. Right. And I want to make sure I do clear myself on this as well, too. Like the whole reason we, we use video, again, is not only to build that con connection, but if you've ever tried to put video inside of an email, you know a couple of things. It's tough, right? Number one, that video has to be a small enough what? File in that email. And number two, it's a file. And if I don't know you and you're sending me some type of attachment that I have to click on and download, chances of me doing that are slim, <laughs> right? I always say my own mother still sends me attachments via email and I still get skeptical on that. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when we send out those bomb bomb video messages as well, too, along with the tracking, the analytics. And Jeff, I know you can touch on this, too, but if you're in sales and you don't know when somebody is opening or engaging in your messages, you need to know that. That is crucial. It, it really is. And just a couple of things uh, on that. Uh, first of all, you know, even when I'm looking at the screen right now on this this, this looping video, um, Every now and then I will get an, a bomb bomb email from somebody who does something like this. It'll have to say my name and then I'll see a smiling face. And I got to tell you what, those are the only cold emails I will ever open uh, to watch the video because clearly somebody took the time to do something. And I, I almost feel like I owe it to them uh, to be able to do that. There's a there's a the law of reciprocity. They did something kind for me. I'm going to do something for them. But the other thing is, I'm even I'm looking at this little loop right here. Just look at this guy's face. He seems like a nice guy, right? He's the kind of guy you don't mind talking to. Uh, so that's the idea. And if we were looping it into the, to the fact that they already know that there was an inquiry that now you're responding to, who would you rather, what would you rather get to talk to somebody who is upbeat, energetic, and wants to talk to you, or uh, just a generic email that says, thank you for well, reaching out to speak about the community. I'm already falling asleep reading this email on the screen. Right. I love it. And, and so, of course, we're going to dive into these videos. We've got a couple here that we're going to give you. And we kind of take it through the journey right from start to finish, too. And really kind of what we call the, the moments that matter most in the sales cycle as well, too. So we start with setting appointments. Now, I love this. And, and some of you may know Tina from Lennar. Um, they are rock stars when it comes to using video for setting and holding more appointments. And I just talked with with JC the other day, and I, I believe they are now the, the division that has the lowest cancellation rate. And there's some good psychology to this as well, too. And, and again, I nerd out to this stuff, but it's very hard to say no to a human's face, right? If I see somebody looking forward to talking to me or asking me a question, it's hard for me to not respond, right? It's just like reciprocity, like what you were saying. 
So this but, is a great when you, video. When you look at that idea of cancellations, uh, it's one thing for me to just sort of as a buyer to go, I'm worried about the market. I'm worried about what's going on. The interest rates are going up, election coming, whatever it is, all these different factors. If I don't think the salesperson even really cares all that much, it's easier for me to cancel. But if I'm a salesperson and I'm out there and I'm doing an update on the home and I can look at it maybe with my superintendent next to me and say, hey, you know, I got my 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 phone. I'm recording a bomb bomb video. And I look and I say, look, I could tell you that your cabinet's in, but look, your cabinet's in. And hey, uh, you know, Frank, what do you think? Oh, man, they turned out beautiful. Good taste over there. We are so excited about the home we're building you. That's a much harder call to make to say, no, I think I'm going to cancel. Right. So the energy that we bring to even those follow up calls is just critical. And again, you know, look at the face that you're seeing on the screen. Right, Not me and Justin, by the way. I mean, on the bomb bomb screen. Look at the face that you're seeing right now. That's the type of person that you that is excited for you. And it carries that emotional altitude further in the process. Well, this is their, the most emotional purchase they're ever going to have. And when you're saying that, too, you're carrying that emotional, that tone with them, too. You're getting them excited. So and we've got some examples like that too. And so I'm going to play Tina's video real quick, but I want you all to pay attention very closely in this video too. And I'll bring it back once we're done here. Thank you for scheduling an appointment. I'm Tina. I'm part of your internet sales team here with Lennar. And we are so excited that you are scheduled to meet with one of our on-site consultants. Please note that we have shared everything that we discussed with the consultant that you are meeting with. So you can have peace of mind knowing that your consultant will be focused on you and on the homes that are of interest to you. Now I'll pause it there. Notice that Tina doesn't say anybody's name besides Tina's, right? And so what I'm getting at here too, she has recorded this video once and she uses this. And I just talked with them last week too. She uses this inside Salesforce every time there's an appointment set, right? And what this is doing is holding that person again accountable to it. But another thing to point out what I love about this, notice the virtual background. She's painting the picture of what that, that home looks like or what their home could potentially look like, right? Love that. Anything to add to that, Jeff? Uh, it's just, it's so powerful to re record that once and then it gets automated. It can set out anytime you book an appointment. It's It's very, very cool. Uh, but you just got, I'm just going to encourage everybody who's watching today, look at this through the eyes of a buyer, right? What do you want? Do you want a, you know, a generic email or do you want something that's, that's, that is full of life and energy? I mean, if you were the buyer, what would you be thinking right there? That's, that's, that's the power. It, it's, it's not the power in what we do. It's the power in what gets perceived. You know, Becca said in the uh, comments here, I sent a bomb bomb to a prospect the uh, afternoon before. Uh, our Zoom appointment just the other day, and they mentioned three times about how much they love the video. You know why? Because nobody's doing it, or at least not to the level that they should be. So, yeah. You know what? I, I love how you said that too. It is again, I, I nerd out to this, but this is how I kind of fell into this. I was building my first home with my wife years ago, and we all know from a buyer's perspective, it's a little intense walking into a model home, and there's three reps, two reps. Right. And me as a salesperson, I'm wondering who should I be talking to? Right. And, and there's a level of anxiety coming in like, oh, nobody wakes up in the morning and says, I'm so excited to talk to a salesperson today. <laughs> right? right. And so right. now I know exactly who this person is going to, to look like, act like all of that. And this is a great example of, OK, we've said it, but now we're going to make sure that appointment holds. So this is a great example, too, of how to make sure that appointment holds. And there's two ways about doing this. And Notice what I love he's doing right now. He's using an app on his phone. It's called Make It Big for anybody who's wondering. But I always use this because I take it from the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. We love to see and hear our name. That is like the sweetest sounding word there is, is our first name, right? So I'm going to play this for you and then we'll kind of analyze it after. Russell, hey, this is Kyle Hubbard with Ryan Holmes here at South Peak. Hope you're doing well, having a great day. Just wanted to reach out to introduce myself and uh, to confirm your appointment for tomorrow at 5 p.m. My partner Sharon and I are really excited to be kicking off South Peak tomorrow. Um, we're excited to meet you, see what we can do to help with your home search. So if you need anything at all here uh, prior to your visit, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. And uh, we really look forward to meeting you tomorrow. Thanks, Russell. Simple. All right, can I just touch on that there, Justin? Because mm -hmm. if you're a buyer and you made an appointment, uh, you you 
the community you're going out to see is probably not the only community you're going out to see. So you know, you made four different appointments that you're going to go be, be headed out to in in that day. Uh, you made the appointment, but that doesn't mean you have a connection with the salesperson. So when you pull up to that community with no connection, then you walk through the door with your defenses up. I don't know if I'm going to like this person. Can I trust it? What is that going to look like? And in this particular case, Russell has stepped up in front of the crowd for any other appointment that's out there because Russell's going to look at it and say, for all of the concerns and everything that's going on in your mind right now, you don't have to worry about me. I, I am going to help you through this right now. Uh, I, I'm likable. I'm friendly. I'm outgoing. The buyer is going to approach this conversation with a completely different mindset than they will with any of the other appointments that they made. Yeah. I, you know, this was the personal approach. And I'm just going to kind of go a, a little ad lib here, too. Again, you can make this a pre recorded video. So, in my day to day, what I do as well, too. Now, this is my Gmail for time's sake. This can be your Outlook too. We have an integration with this, but I can save time by opening up a brand new email. And instead of recording on the fly, I have a library of pre recorded videos. And I always hit my talk soon button. I put in the person's email address. And again, I send that out not only so that they know who I am, right? And it's a better customer experience when they first meet me, but now they're accountable to hold up that meeting because they see my excitement on my face. And then I'm looking forward to them, right? And I'll touch too on the stats for this. We're going to go back here. We did this with a, a top five national builder. And so when you know rates were rising, leads were dropping, we knew we, we had to hold those appointments. Those appointments are valuable, right? So we interjected those videos inside there too. And we helped them jump from 57 to 78% appointments held and with less leads. So a 37% increase in appointments held, which is awesome. So I love touting that one out too, because that's just, just human psychology is really all it is, right? Well, uh, can I just uh, add to that? It, you talk about it, it, great business people ask the question, what can I do that's high impact and low effort? Right. right. I mean, ultimately, that's that's effective business. It has a high impact and it doesn't cost me that much in time or money or whatever it is. So if I can increase my meetings held from 57 to 70, that's huge. Those are huge numbers because we've recorded a video once and played it out automatically through our CRM over and over again. Are you kidding me? Uh, I, again, I failed to understand why you wouldn't do it in that case. I love it. So let's keep going. I, I've got these. And again, I always nerd out to this stuff, but now we've, we've held the appointment. What do you do after? Because you know this, right? They can walk out of your model home and depending on the community, take a couple of steps and go straight into another competitor's. And I always say, what are what what impression are you leaving with them after they've left that home? And Howard Daniels here, there's two different types, again, a personal and a pre-recorded. Howard goes the way of pre-recorded. And I love this example too, because it's 21 seconds, right? You get to see the little timestamp there. High impact, minimal effort, just like you said. Folks, it's Howard Daniels at Liberty Ridge in Horsham, PA by Pulte Homes. I just want to thank you for coming out the other day. It was great to meet you. Hope I answered all your questions, and I look forward to helping you out with your new home purchase. Feel free to reach out to me anytime if you have any questions or if you'd like to set up another appointment to meet with me. Uh, Grant, it was great meeting you, and I look forward to helping you with your new home. Bye-bye. Simple. Recorded once, sent out after every appointment. Love it. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, of what that means to the buyer. Uh, when I wrote the book, follow up and close the sale, it's all about extending that emotional altitude that a customer has when they're looking at a home. Then after they leave, what happens? That emotional altitude begins to wane. And so that video that's sent, and it, it might mean that I'm walking into the home that they loved and just recording 30 seconds really quickly, uh, just to say, I know you love this kitchen. So I wanted to give you a video of, of, uh, of the highlights and what you loved in particular. And I can send that in 45 minutes. Because you know where they're going to be in 45 minutes? In my competitor's home. Yeah. And so I can infiltrate that presentation right there in a way that's upbeat and energetic. But more importantly than that, uh, it extends the emotional altitude they had when they were on site. And they're not going to watch that video once. They're going to watch it 10, 20 times. Uh, that's the that's the power that video has along those lines. You know, I don't, I don't mean to put you too much on the spot here, Jeff, but I know uh, one of the 4-2 Formula Academies, you, you had said there was a, a survey that went out to uh, buyers that asked what influenced um, their decision. 
And I wanted to say that there was a, a part of it where it said the salesperson. And to me, I was like, well, you know, no way. You know, a lot of people will think no way, you know, it's, it's the home. Right. But no, I mean, it's, it's that person that makes you feel comfortable buying. Yeah. It's not just influence. It's what were the key factors in your decision and what did they, what, what, how much did they mean? And that, that research done by life story research out of Arizona, 25% of the decision was the salesperson alone. 25%. Yeah. Now that includes the home itself, the community, the price, the schools, everything involved in that decision. And 25% of the decision was based on how they felt about the salesperson. So I think salespeople have a lot more sway either way, whether they buy or they don't buy, than they think they do. Yeah. And I love that too, because it makes perfect sense to me. I have a story in here of, of my salesperson um, who I bought my last home with too. And I'll get to that, but it, it makes perfect sense when you see her and hear her uh, and, and just how delightful she is. And again, you right. don't get that across in, in some plain black and white text, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go back in time here too. Some of you may know Danny. Um, she is an absolute rock star and she has accelerated her career from since when I knew her way back at Pace Setter Homes. And uh, I hope if she's listening to this too, Danny, keep me honest on this. But one of the stories that I've used this for so long too, is this was an out of state buyer that came and visited, right? And what Danny did was send the videos while they've been gone. And one of the things that they said when they were closing on the home is one of the biggest reasons we went with you is because you already made us feel like we were a part of the community with these videos when we were visiting from out of state. So I love that. And this is the video that she sent after their first visit. Hey, Dante, I hope you're having a great afternoon. Hey, I just wanted to send you a really quick message just to thank you so much for taking the time to come in and meet with me today. I had so much fun with you and Daryl, who is such an awesome kid, by the way. Um, I just, I had such a blast spending some time with you guys, messing with him a little bit, talking superheroes. Um, but I'm really excited that we have two different floor plans that feel like they might be a really good fit. I know that debate between one story and two is one that a lot of folks that I work with have to kind of go through. So um, if I can be of any help, answer any questions, either about the neighborhood and the homes in particular or about the greater Austin area, because I know coming from Atlanta, there's a lot to consider. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. I know I said around noon, maybe a little bit later since you guys might be. Pause it there. But man, do I love that. Right. Again, I love that she's also saying, hey, I heard you. I heard what your your concerns were and what your thoughts are. And not only just like, hey, it was great meeting you. It was like, hey, I heard you, right? And that's going to yeah, leave that's, much That's home. a buyer who's going to look at it and say, I'm going to look at a lot of homes, but I want to buy from her. Right. Right. I, I mean, that's the idea. And, and it's, it's, it's more than just do I like the home. It's who do I want to do business with? And I mean, come on, if you're watching right now, who would not want Danny to be their salesperson? Really? Yeah. Really? Right. <laughs> and this was this is a fun one, Jeff. You and I have been talking about this recently as well, too. We did this uh, study with a, a team of 300 sales reps. And again, out of the nine years I've been doing this, I always hear, you know, hey, are, is my team really going to use this? Well, one of the things that we discovered is why don't we, we, we shoot one video, right? We shoot one video and we put it into whether it's our CRM or to our sales cycle before an appointment. We're going to use that video over and over again. And that's what we did with them. And within three months, we saw, I always say, you know, two stats, one, one boring stat, one good stat. Uh, we, we helped increase their click-through rates with the emails. I always say big whoop, right? But what was important what was we helped increase their lead conversion 64%. That was a, a revelation with us here. Um, so I've always been a fan of personal videos, but these pre-recorded videos carry just as much weight and it's high impact, low effort. It's just what you were saying, right? You got it. Now I'm going to move on here too. This is, you know, not only, you know, before the sale, post sale, right? How are you keeping that emotional altitude, right? This is, again, this was my sales rep, uh, Kimberly over here at Classic Homes in Wolf Ranch uh, in Colorado Springs. And she's an absolute delight. But she now uses this to, to update whenever she drives through the community, she sees the, the family's homes, she'll take her mobile app out and she's pretty fancy now, too. She's putting in a, a quick little three-second clip of the model and the community. And I'll go ahead and play that for you. 
Hi, Mary B and Ehi. Look at this beautiful home, even with the storm coming in. It is still magnificent. I'm so excited. I just was up here taking some video for some other folks. And I saw your house and I wanted to share with you. Let me see if the doors. Aha. Awesome. Look at this. Oh my goodness, you can see forever. It's so beautiful. Look. Wow. How many times do you think that buyer watched that video? You know, it's... It... I'm Justin, I remember when I moved, uh, not the home I'm in now, but the home before that, I was a relocation buyer. And um, this was 1999. This is really before we were using the internet for purchasing. So I, I bought the home. I had a flyer, one page, three photos on the front, three photos on the back. For the next 60 days before I actually moved, because I couldn't see the home, it was a relocation situation. I just stood there and watched that, uh, flip that one flyer over and over like every single day, looking at pictures of, of that home. But the idea here is that um, if that was what it meant for a flyer, imagine what it would have been if we had a video along those lines. But there's one other thing here too, and it has to do with what we call emotional transference. So Kyla just said, uh, I first heard that phrase emotional to do from you. Justin's hearing it, is saying it as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but that leads to emotional transference. And basically the principle behind emotional transference is that we adopt the energy level of the people that we are talking to. We adopt their emotion, positive or negative, by the way. Uh, we do it with food servers. We do it with people in a store, whatever it is. But listening to the tone, the energy in this salesperson's voice and hearing how excited she is for me makes me excited, right? So now you may be looking and saying, hey, I'm not that gushy. That's fine. You can do this in your own style, but your energy is going to get transferred to them one way or another. Whether the energy is positive or negative, it's going to be transferred. So that emotional transference is what keeps that emotional altitude high. I, I, I am, if I'm a buyer, I am thrilled that my my salesperson is thrilled. Is the case right here? I love that. And and speed number two, and Kylan, thank you. Yes, it, this is something that's catching on with everybody with with that emotional altitude, right? So this is Ryan out of Eastwood Homes, and, and I've used a number of his examples as well, too. But I love that he wrote this saying, like, this is the main reason why he uses video, right? That emotional altitude is, is crucial in, in cancellations, right? You need to keep that buyer engaged, happy, especially with a shifting market, right? And so he uses his mobile app daily on this. And I want to catch up with him too, because he, he's given me permission to always, you know, take a look at the videos he's doing, but he's doing really good ones, reaching out to realtors that he finds on Facebook groups saying, Hey, I've got buyers that are looking for this type of rate in the town home. And he sent a video the other day saying like, Hey, I noticed what you were looking for. Let me show you what we have and shows over to the board and kind of shows that, you know, the prices, all that kind of stuff. So Ryan is, is going, is on fire already. So I'm, I'm excited to see kind of where his future goes as well, too. So one more. You know, you know, well, I'll just toss one other thing out there, if you don't mind, Justin. Um, please. As sales professionals, we are asked, we always ask ourselves, how can I be more influential? How can I help people to do what they really want to do uh, anyway? And uh, I cannot stress enough the importance, the psychological importance between likability and trust. So, mm. so if you read Robert Cialdini's work on this, he's a foremost expert on um, uh, influence theory. He will tell you that likability is one of the most important aspects of influence. If, if there is a natural psychological hack that we carry around in our brain. If I like you, I tend to trust you. Okay. Uh, that shouldn't make sense. Uh, it's a little shortcut that when you think about it, that's how con men make their living. They get you to like them, then they get you to trust them, and then they take advantage of you. The difference for us is one of motive. We want you to like us so that you will trust us, so that we can influence you to do that which is in your best interest. But that principle of likability is really, really critical because it's not just, okay, this might be okay. Maybe I won't hate this person. No, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than just, do you want them to like you? It means that everything that you're going to be sharing in that conversation is going to have an, a layer of a foundation of influence underneath it. 
uh, that's going to make you more credible, more authoritative. They're going to listen to what you say when you're likable. So if that likability begins by way of video before you even meet them for the first time, then what, what is that going to do? It's going to increase the chances that I will be the that uh, the, that number one authority for them as they're in their shopping experience. A huge, huge psychological break for you as a, as a uh, lead uh, conversion expert. I love that. Yeah. We've all heard, you know, people do business with who they know, like, and trust. How much do you know, like, and trust this person? <laughs> right. I, I don't get that. And and we rely so heavily on that. And, and it, it, to me, obviously it, it boggles my mind, but you know, there, there's so many different avenues in, in using this and using it to, you know, introduce yourself, follow up, whatever it may be. But what I love here too, and this is a big shout out to, to Haley, uh, who is with Level Homes now with Novi Home. And this is a great story of when she started using the Bomb Bomb mobile app, she used this for quick move and ready spec homes, right? To paint the picture. And what she did was she was sending this out to a number of prospects. And the story behind this video in particular, is she got the notification that this person was watching this video. So she called him up, right? Set the appointment, ended up writing the contract. And so cool too. Again, when you get these notifications, I always say, Hey, that's the best time to reach out to somebody. And people ask, is that awkward to, to you know call them while they're watching the video? No, they're you're not bothering that person. They're taking the time out of their day to listen and watch what you have to say. You might as well call them up and be transparent with it too. Not like a oh no way, you know, <laughs> this is a sign. But I always say, say, yeah, I saw that you were watching that video. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to give you a call and see if you had any questions, right? And now you just got them on the phone and you just got them excited to talk to you. And that's half the battle, right? So this was that video too. I'll show you real quick. Hey guys, I'm Haley. I am the new home specialist with Level Homes. We are out here in Conway in Gonzales, which is the premier traditional neighborhood development in Ascension Parish. Um, come with us. We want to show you a couple of things. Shows community. at the Minden Spec on lot 208 in Conway. It is a three bed, two bath, and it is just under 1,700 square feet. Come on, let's take a look. There is a large open kitchen and living area. I love that, right? Now you're painting the picture, right? That to me, again, yes, again, I always nerd out to it, but what I really want to drive the point here too is the crucial she called this person when they were watching that video, right? Had she not called that person, maybe they would have watched it five more times. Maybe they would have stopped in. Maybe they would have bought the house. I don't know. But while she called, while they were watching the video, set the appointment, sold the home. So great story. Love it. Thoughts? Can I address uh, Derek's uh, comment here in the chat box where he said, any advice on people shutting down on camera? The camera turns into the mumbling, bumbling fool <laughs> uh, and not genuine. So, uh, yes, first of all, when when COVID first hit and sales offices shut down everywhere, um, we had to work with our clients on this very, very quickly. But we did something interesting because we found this a lot, Derek. A lot of salespeople are just, just not uh, comfortable. But the key here, and it shows up here in, in the response here about confidence is critical. So we literally uh, had salespeople uh, take a pen and put it down on the table in front of them and then pick up their phone and click on the video and point at the pen and say, this is a pen. That was the first video we had them do. Okay. <laughs> then we looked at it and we said, great, now let's change it up. Uh, I want you to say it as if you were talking to a three-year-old. This is a pen. Cool. Now we added a little inflection to it. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to describe it to your best friend as if it's your personal favorite pen and you're really excited about it. This is my favorite pen. And so all we were doing here is that we were having them increase a little bit at a time what it was that they were doing. Eventually, we had them turn the camera onto their own face and say, hi, I'm Jeff. Great. Now let's add a little inflection. Say it to a three-year-old. Hi, I'm Jeff. Good. Now introduce yourself to somebody you've been looking forward to meeting for a long time, but be you when you do it. In other words, it's just repetition. And this is really true for anything. 
when we're learning it for the first time, it's uncomfortable. It's not impossible. It's uncomfortable. So the question is, how do we make that which is uncomfortable comfortable? And the answer is very simple repetition. Just do right. it again, do it again, do it again. It's that's all it is. Like I work with salespeople all around the country who tell me that they hate to role play. But we have clients out there that role play every day, every day. And when you ask those salespeople, so what's it like to role play every day? You know what they say? It's no big deal. It's just what we do. That's not what they would have said when they first started, but it's what they say now because they do it every day. It's the same thing with video. It's just repetition. Do it again, do it again, do it again. And if you wanted to start by looking at it and saying, okay, I'm going to point my camera at the kitchen and narrate a little bit, that's great before you're actually on camera. I think it's best if your face is on camera, but work up to that a little bit. But take baby steps. Take this a little bit at a time. Uh, finally, the last thing that we've always said here is, um, you, you know, people say, I don't like the way that I look on camera. Look, that's just, it, it's the way you look. It, it doesn't matter if you're on camera or not. It's it's just who you are. And just because you don't like the way you, it doesn't change who you are. It doesn't change the way you look. It's all about you at that point. This is not about you. This is about your customer. Uh, they're going to meet you anyway. So why not give them the opportunity to do it first? So well said. I'm going to bring Ryan back into that too, because Ryan has shot now 800 videos. And we always say, you know, he wouldn't have shot his 800th video if the first 799 didn't bring him something, right? Didn't show him some kind of result. He just keeps doing this and he's getting those, what we call aha moments. Started off with just simple, you know, home updates, but then he realized, no, I can use video for this. I can use video for that. And so practice, again, always makes perfect. And shout out to Beat and Bow Homes, uh, the people who role play every day. I, I sat down with their, their sales team just when we were in Charlotte. And it was the same reaction. It was like, yeah, we do it every single day. We practice this and it's a you know, part of it. So yeah. I love it. Uh, all right. So last one. And then we'll get into our, our Not Black Friday offer and answer any questions you all have too. But I love this because I just met Amy out, out at Charlotte at the 42 Formula Academy. And uh, she... <laughs> had a story. She uses this video all the time and she gave me permission to use this. I just think that this is such a better experience for somebody, especially when it comes to moving day. So I'm going to go ahead and play this for you. Now my bags are packed and I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. Well, I'm not really outside your door because that would be creepy, but I'm hoping you're packing because moving day is right around the corner. So I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> now, you don't have to sing. Let's get that straight. You don't have to sing, but man, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and look, keep in mind here, uh, you certainly don't want to sing in the first video you send out to somebody. But this is uh, this is somebody that she's been working with for months right here. And just to be able to share that love, this should be one of the happiest times of somebody's life. Why not be happy with them? I mean, this is such a beautiful expression of the fact that I'm willing to put myself out there just to, to make you feel good. And, and again, if you're the buyer and you already know her and you've been working with her in a while, how 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 beautiful would that be? It's, it's a gift to be able to bear your soul that way. Yeah. I, I love Becca just said it too, like energy and emotion is contagious. Like you can't not watch that and smile. And you think about the buyer who received this, right? Think, you know, five months down, they're already moved in, but their their friend is thinking about building as well. Well, who do you think they're going to, who's going to come to mind? You should talk to Amy, <laughs> right? Driving more referrals, building a better customer experience, all of that. Jeff, I think we covered our, our bases here. Did, did I miss anything? You know, the one thing that I would recommend here to you is that when you have people in backlog, um, if you if you're doing updates, you know, look, you can you can here, let's go from lame to great. The lame email is says your cabinets are in. See ya. Right. Uh, the, the, the the much better way would be to make a phone call and say, hey, I just walked through your home and your cabinet is really good. 
But way better than that uh, is to take a video of the cabinet snow installed, but on the high, even higher level there is to bring your builder, your superintendent involved. Just think about it. A lot of times customers look at the builder, the superintendent, and they have this negative image in their mind of a construction guy. But look, oh, thank you, Justin. Can you play that? Is, is that yeah, possible? Yeah, certainly. Play? Yep, here we go. I certainly thought I could. <laughs> This is the joys of live, but here we go. I can get it back. Hey guys, it's Chris. Just wanted to show you how far we've made it on your house so far. So we've got the first floor walls are up. The guys are working on getting your trusses ready to. Okay, Easy. so I mean, listen, if if you're the buyer, uh, the most important thing that you just saw was Chris. Was Chris, was your builder giving an update? Uh, that That is so important here to feel connected. So if you can get your builder, if you can, and, and you could do it together, right? While you're out together, say, hey, Chris, uh, I'm just recording a video here for, you know, Jennifer and Robert over. And and, and how are you feeling about the way that that house is? You could tee that builder up a little bit. And it's, it's a beautiful way to add credibility and to feel better about what it is that we're doing here. And we found it's it's helping them save time too. I, I still know other builders that will go out with you know like a Sony cyber shot, take some pictures, go back, upload those pictures, and send them off. But now you're taking the mobile app, you're saving time, you're just shooting it while you're out there. And it, it's even reducing, I know it says it here too, but it's reducing the traffic that comes on site too. And and to any project manager, anything like that, superintendent, like that makes them happy too, that they're they're not having families always there too, because I was that guy. I, I showed up on my home site all the time to look at my, my house. I was so excited, but this is just, again, a better picture, a better customer experience. So we'll leave you to this too. If you want to take a screenshot, these are things to think about too. I always say, you know, the key moments that matter in the sales cycle where video drives more impact, whether it's from the beginning, you know, an internet lead, but I always say, you know, to drive more responses, that kind of thing weekly updates, congrats on the new home. Again, this is an emotional purchase. Help them with that, right? Build that emotion up too. And we've got stats. We can answer any questions too. I'm happy to. I know we're going to, we're really actually almost about done here. We got about five more minutes, but I want to obviously give you that not Black Friday special. So for all of you too, again, mention this uh, webinar. We are happy to help you with, with this. If you know, bomb bomb, you know, that typically a bomb subscription is 588 per user per year, right? So we have a not block Friday special where we're doing 20% off for you. If you do mention this live training that we did here with Jeff, which means that's 470, 40 cents per user per year. So if you have a team, we're happy to help you with this. We have best practices and just know too, this is until November 27th. So we do have, what is it about 10, 11 days for this as well too. So Feel free if you have any questions. I know they're going to drop our my information right inside the chat. We're happy to help. And I'd say too, if we have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Jeff, go ahead. Yeah, I would just encourage you to look at it and say, you know, for some of you are like, well, I hope my boss pays for it. Just pay for it. If you're a sales professional, just pay. It's 40 bucks a month. I mean, come on. It, it, the, the power here and, and talk to people who do this already. They're going to tell you this is just an, an incredible opportunity to um, uh, advance above all of your competition. And as I'm watching what's going on around the country right now, there are definitely markets that are, are, are question marks at best, and in some cases really struggling. You need every opportunity to stand apart from everybody else. Because you, know, you go back to 2021, you could get your fair share of the sales and you were living large. But where we are today, you need more than your fair share. You need your share and you need somebody else's fair share. You got to figure out how do I separate from everybody else? And th that's going to be the name of the game as we continue to see markets that are getting a little sketchy out there. The name of the game is how do I stand apart from everybody else? And 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 look, I, I granted I'm a bomb bomb user. Everybody in my company is. I, I know I'm a fan already, but regardless, I'm looking at it and saying video is there. I mean, before I was using bomb bomb, that's what I was saying is that video is the way to stand apart from everybody else that's out there. You need an upper hand in a shifting market. I think this is the most important upper hand you can find. 
I'll wrap it too with what I always say is don't overthink it, right? Again, you are good face-to-face. -face. We're just helping you get there faster and build trust and rapport quicker. It's all just hitting a record button, right? Once you get past that, that slight uncomfort, uncomfort and you start practicing this, practicing this, it, it becomes a part of your daily routine. I wish I would known about this back in my other jobs as well too, selling. So Either way, thanks so much, Jeff, for joining us. Uh, if you have questions, I know they dropped my information in there. I'm happy to follow up with you and help you all. We've got stories for days on this. Case studies, stories, I'm happy to help. This has been my passion for about nine years, uh, especially in this industry. So I really appreciate you all. Perfect. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. We'll see you.